the psychologists are almost always um, the first kind of non-medical specialist that is integrated into a headache center. So once you have advanced practice pro provider and a nurse, oftentimes people are then looking to psychology. And I think there's a handful of reasons. Psychology has been engaged in headache care since the 60s um, because stress uh, psychological and physiologic stress has always demonstrated such a close relationship to attack onset. So there has long been an understanding that helping to reduce physiologic stress reactivity can reduce uh, headache attack frequency, at least for migraine intention type headache. So I think that there's a history there for a specific suite of interventions, stress management, relaxation, biofeedback, all of which have great evidence for migraine. Um, but I also think that <clears throat> there are um, much more, there, there's a second reason psychology often is integrated into the practice. Um, and it's because Tertiary care centers have uh, even more psychiatric comorbidity, mental health comorbidities than other care settings. So migraine is associated with higher rates of depression and anxiety everywhere. There are, you know, neurologic reasons, brain reasons why these diseases are similar. Um, you have some underpinnings at least. So um, integrating a psychologist can be a twofer. They can work on migraine, they can work on depression. But in tertiary care settings, there are just higher levels of mental health comorbidities across the board, even that aren't comorbid with the disease, just because people with more mental health comorbidities often seek higher levels of care. So for that reason, I think that it's really helpful to bring psychologists on board because they can help um, improve adherence to the overall treatment regimen in patients who otherwise may have a difficult time making all these follow-up appointments, getting there, you know, taking their medications as prescribed. Um, with headache, actually, that's often not taking enough or not taking it early enough. Um, so I think those are reasons why psychology is so often integrated into the multidisciplinary care setting.